for the four bedroom duplex or had one daughter, it was a compound, it was detached. I said, okay, this is what I want to. How much, man? 77 million. I can't get it. 10 million. I went to him, I said, okay, now that I know the price, no problem. What's the payment plan? They say um, 12 months um, with 12% um, interest, but if you pay in two years, we're going to give you 18% interest. I said, the interest is not my issue first. When we buy house finish, we will know whether interest is there or not. You said two years. Okay, so I think I can do it. I'm not sure. I told my husband, he said, you just gave me a fly. You want, to, you want to put us into trouble? I said, calm down. If I say something, just calm down. Just listen. If I say two years, eh? Then you give 77 million. Okay, how much is deposit? I said, let me ask them. How much can I keep down? They said, 30 million. And you have to pay in one month. But if you pay the 30 million, they will give you the keys. So that's a good idea. When would they inside and do business? The money will come out. And I gave them, I said, please, can you collect the 10 million naira from me? Um, I'll try and make up for the 30. Just give me three months. That was the push I needed. I gave them the 10 million. And in 30 days, I got 30 million. And I gave them the 30 million. And they were like, ah, you are fast, so. And I said, how much I was saying there? 2 million, 500, 100. 77 million. And that was the push I needed. I needed to take a step. I'm not saying you should go and collect the sale. But I needed, to, I needed something to push me. All this talk. That's the difference between a growth mindset and a fixed mindset. A fixed mindset person will tell you, as I not get 77 million, there is nothing that can happen. I don't have it. I'm not even going to stress myself. My father is not rich. I don't have it. But if not myself person will say, I will find, I will try my best to meet up. What's the worst thing that can happen? That's what I keep asking myself. What is the worst thing that can happen? Will they beat me? If I not pay in two years, will they be higher? They will increase my interest back. That's the highest thing they can do. They can't collect it from me. And that is what a growth mindset person should think. How would I do it? How would I solve it? How would I do it? I know they say there is no way here. But I can make a difference. You can be talking your garbage, but I know, I know that there is a way here. I finished that one. I said I need a house to live. Or that say, you have come again. Come, I want to ask how your brain is working. Is it that you like problem? Because you're always looking for problem to solve. Say sorry, sir. But I think we need a house. If it should be it's you, should be you will say it's you. We need a house. Okay, let's go and look for a house. We got the house. We use payment plan. Now let me tell you, some things that you are looking at are so big is actually small. But you've not even inquired. You've not even asked. Instead of not before, somebody bought a house today. Do you know how, how long it took to pay that money? Did you think somebody just had 80 million and go and give one? They only share the news at the point when they have finished paying. Do you know if it took them five years or three years or five months? What work did they do that comment section? Now this kid's making me. You show them that this kid, this uh, Atababi, is it this money? But you don't know until they come to tell you like this. Do you know whether they are still paying for the house? You know whether they are mortgage? You don't know. So what you don't know, you ask. You say, I want to know. I want to buy a computer. I want to buy a laptop. The price is scaring me. Why? Go and look for people that will collect 
I paid your 5,000 or 10,000. So far, you don't collect the computer now. So even when I finish paying, you will give me the computer. And you will give me the laptop. Why not do it? There are things that make us not to grow. And that is the fixed mindset. The fixed mindset has drawn so many people back more than they think. Social media is there. You see people doing things on social media, making sales on social media. And you are here doing, uh, maybe you go there alone. Maybe. She has good light, I don't have good lights. She has good phone, I don't have good phone. And why can't you go and buy good phone? Why? You are on Instagram, you are only to like and comment. You are not asking yourself, how can I make money from this? Social media. But on every blog comment section, we are seeing you. Meanwhile, there are people making money. The people you are talking about are making money. How can you leverage on people? Ask yourself. I might not have a business idea. I may not have what I'm selling. It's not everybody that must be buying and do buying and selling. But I can leverage on other people, and I will tell you how. You see that? Capital on your street. Why don't you be a social media person and advertise his work on social media? You collect work from people. That's leveraging. That's right. You are not the one doing the work. You are not the one buying the materials. Your job is to leverage on other people's talents. You have people around you, a good hairdresser. Why can't you enter her shop and market her? And open a page for her. And then you drive traffic down and you collect your money or collect your commission or however you want to. People really want to charge and give her money. Why can't you leverage on what is around you? You mustn't buy market to sell. You mustn't buy. Everybody must not be an entrepreneur. You could be in a workspace. Career people, you could be working a nine to five. How are you impacting in the organization that you are in? Your only is to collect salary. As if you are doing somebody a favor. They collect salary month and then they said they don't say no for salary. I will collect my salary. When you wait six months, maybe suffer more, you just say, I think I need an increase. Do you know that you can actually increase when you have value to give? Yes, you can't be doing that thing and having that. What your boss says is good. There is no one that will do there is no one you are thinking, you are not thinking of way out. You are not thinking how can you improve this. You are not thinking of anything that just is going to arrange it. Oh, yeah, I'll arrange it. They say we should post on social media. That's doing that. Ma, how can we improve on this? Sir, how can we improve on this? I think I got a new idea. I think we should add this thing to your business. But this is the condition, sir. You know this particular uh, part. I am the one that brought the idea. And I feel like if it grows to an extent, I can also have a share in it. You are talking business then. But you can't be doing garbage in and garbage out. You are not improving yourself. There's a thin line between success and failure. Any small mistake, you are going down. A rich man is not always rich because he doesn't know money management. They didn't manage, they didn't invest their money well. Nothing is working for you. You have a house. You are not looking on, looking at how that house will make money. You just have house and leg, you have house in a job. Which one is doing short legs for you? Which one is bringing daily income for you? Which one is your rental or which one is commercial? You have duplexes around, but no one is bringing in money. Meanwhile, people are turning their houses to money. Like I said, I got a Jagger Media Studio. And that building, I thought of it. I see a lot of small business owners struggling with um, content. You know, they are always doing content in wet places. Maybe their cutting is dirty or their camera is not okay. Yeah, you know, the background is not okay, they don't know what to do. This duplex I'm looking, how can I make money from it? Or your content studio. I created spaces in that building where you can come in and create your content. I bought 
a phone. I bought 13 Pro Max, I bought 14 Pro Max, I bought it. The phone is your problem. I have phone for rent.
that in one push group season I make 15 million. One. One. All I do is to shout. I've already taken that my job that is shout. Shouting on adults, old men and women. And I don't see them. I will not see you till the day the class ends. I don't want to see your face because if I tell you, I'll be hearing you. Don't see me. Let me talk to you on and express myself. You know. And when they see me, they say, Is this you? So is this small thing? <laughs> Husband will come and say, It's you that is telling my wife this thing. You know. But I enjoy doing it. In as much as I fall sick, I have deeply problem because of that program. Yes, shouting on adults, KG1, not to talk of adults. KG1 is hard, not to talk of adults. Have you done this? Have you drank water? Have you eaten today? Go and do this, go and do that. But I'm not doing that, but that is the gap. And that is how I make my own money. And you come back to testimonial, there's nobody. I keep saying it, there's nobody that will go through my program that doesn't make you think how. Not when you are forced to do it. How? Except it's not me. So, in your industry, whatever you want to do, look for a gap. Everybody must not be a maker. Everybody must not be a chair, like the one that is happening now. Everybody must not do the same thing. Why can't you look for another angle? Eh? Why can't you look for another angle? Must you do what somebody else is doing? So why can't you do another angle and come in? There are so many things. There is money looking at you. But if that one that is successful that you want to fuck you, why? Because you think that it's that easy. Some people took them 10 years to be noticed. Some people 15 years. But you saw them anyways. Some people will do business for six months. They no say. My God says that this is not the business for me. You fry for course. My God says this business is not for me. You change again to shoemaker. My God says this is which one did God say is for you? God is always saying, but you are not prepared. You are not prepared to receive the blessing that God. God does not give money. I keep saying it. If you pay tight here, yeah. God does not give money. Oh. The Bible says that if you pay 10%, you are going to receive an abundance. That abundance is no money. That abundance is idea. You might pay tithes, you might give offering, you might sow seeds. But you see that idea that always comes effortlessly. Every day you are having an idea. Every day something is always ringing in your head. Every day something, an idea is always dropping. And if you do all of them, you will just think, what? Small, small. And then you ask. How is God blessing this person? It's not by money. God does not have to give us anywhere. It's an idea because that idea will generate money. So whatever idea you get, it is God. It is not man-made. It is God. For you to be able to see something and spot out how you can make money from it is a blessing from God. So don't take it for granted. You can be paying tithes from now to tomorrow sleep on your bed. Shish, shish. You will not make, you will not make comfort. You are waiting, God will bless me today, every day. God is always blessing you, blessing you. Because you are not even prepared to collect that blessing. Are you a student and you are asking for blessing? God will bless that student out of But you can't be sitting on your bed and asking for one blessing. So the growth mindset is what I need to embody. Always say, I want to learn. I can do it. I want to do it. Don't say I cannot. There is nothing like I cannot. Oh, I don't believe I cannot. I cannot. I'm so. I, somebody asked me to, and hey, please, I heard about you. I need a company profile. I said, company profile, what? Okay, what do you want me to do? Like package my company in a brochure so that when people come, I can hand them. Okay. I said, I used to do it. I know it's a good thing. What I went is that I used my artificial intelligence tool and I asked, please, how would you have to you a company profile? They told me, hey, I can do it. And I said 
thousand star. I never knew how to write that thing. And he paid. And when he paid, I did the company, I, I delivered. I did not say I cannot. There is nothing like I cannot. You find out how to. I cannot is not in your dictionary. I cannot is not in my dictionary. So now I want you to do an affirmation. And the affirmation is I can. I'm not hearing you. I can. You can. I can. Everybody can. Thank you. on other people's business to sell. He spoke about the fact that money is not the money that God will give you, but it will give you ideas. I remember one of the prayer sessions we have uh, early in the morning in the script. The pastor said, God will give us God-given ideas that will beat God. Isn't she super talented? If you are, if you are like me, that you are, your notes are full already. Come on, celebrate our one more time. Okay, so we're giving opportunities for people to ask questions. I know a lot of people are. See, hands over there. Okay, yeah. Let's ask that lady in glasses here. Hello, good afternoon, ma. Thank you so much for coming around. I am super, super excited seeing you. Thank you so much. I love your spirit. Okay, so um, for some of us, it's our first time seeing you or even hear about what you do. But you know, the way you speak, I know it is better from a place of passion and then you want to impact you. It's a drive. I'm sure that's why you um, answered this call to me yesterday and we do not take this for granted. My question is how can you be of help? So, small entrepreneurs here, there are quite a number of us that are probably as to in school and then we are still trying to put ourselves together. Chefs, and I don't know the kind of chef that you are. It could be 
um, in general chat when they call you for events, it would be I make the break. But I I have this idea and I don't know if you would tap into it. I don't know if you're already doing it, but I'm just saying generally. There are lots of people who are so busy that they cannot cook or don't have time to cook, not that they cannot cook, they don't have time. And I feel you could do a meal plan for one more. Because the thing is, how to sell to Nigerians is you have to be, you have to add value. We Nigerians don't like them, including me. So bring out money. If it's not, if I don't see the ripple effect, I don't know, I don't bring out my money. You must promise me heaven and earth for me to, do, to bring out that money. So as a check, we want to subsidize meal. One month, it could be 100K. Give my family food for one month, it could be 200. Guess what? By the time I think of how much to cook one meal, and I see that 100K is a good deal, I will go for it. Because I have to buy the ingredients. I have to buy time. I have to do so many things. So come up with packages. You must not cook like everybody else on Instagram that will deliver food to you. Why don't you get package? Do us workers package, family package, workers. Every day I am going to deliver lunch to your working place. Every day. And I'm going to just collect 20k a month or 30k. I think it's a good deal. Instead of me going to buy lunch during break hours, I will just, I know that somebody is coming with lunch for me. So there are so many ways you can monetize. You can also monetize your knowledge. You can monetize your knowledge. Teach us how to cook and make money. That's all. Thank you very much, Mark. You know, I know a lot of us have been asking questions about how to join the training group and all of that. You will get all the information and post to you before the meeting ends. Uh, once she comes 